what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so for today i actually have something super freaking exciting so me and my friend alexis she was in my last vlog we came up with a game to play and basically she picked out a whole bunch of makeup looks and i put some in there and they're like like kind of dramatic makeup looks and basically i'm going to tell siri to pick a number between one and ten which is how many makeup looks there are and whatever number she chooses that's what i have to recreate so let me show you guys a few of the makeup looks that we chose so um there's this one which is very dramatic well all of them are dramatic but i don't know we try to pick like a whole bunch of different ones to choose And that's it so I have 10 of them to choose from and I'm going to see uh, I'm gonna tell Siri to pick a number um, 1 through 10 and then whatever number she chooses that is the look that I will be recreating today so for this idea the whole point of it is to kind of get out of your comfort zone and like instead of you like like yes it's good to be creative and stuff like that but a lot of times people whenever you create looks you're going to do something that you're comfortable with but doing this is going to force you to do something that you're not comfortable with which is what i want because a lot of my looks they don't look the same but they're like the, the same concept but different colors and i want to try something that's like artistic on my face and something that's something that i've never done before um and this is kind of going to give me you know an idea of what i can do i guess but um i'm thinking about doing maybe a part two and maybe i do like all oh, like full face like full face paint type makeup or maybe i do another one where i let you guys pick my makeup or or where i let you guys like pick the looks and you guys can send them to me and then i'll pick out of those to recreate um so there's just a whole bunch of different options that i can do with this game and i actually am super super excited about it so if you like this concept, make sure you thumbs it up so that way I know that this is something that you guys actually want to see. And yeah, but anyways, all right, let's ask Siri what number she picks. Hey Siri, pick a number one through ten. The answer is six. Six. Okay. This one's going to be hard. Okay, so this is number six. This is the look um, that I will be recreating today. Okay, why am I actually kind of nervous now? So, let's get started. I'm using like the smallest freaking desk I can possibly use, but whatever. Okay, so Siri obviously chose six. So, the palettes I'm going to be using is the Daisy Marquez palette. My grandma has the mirror, so that's why there's no top on it. Um, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and the James Charles palette and I have Colourpop palette but it's like one that I created myself a long time ago um, and these are all dark colors but I might end up using this purple um, but that one's kind of just for backup so anyways I think I'm going to use those and yeah let's get started I've obviously already done my base makeup so hopefully this video won't be 12 years long all right, so it starts off, she has orange in her crease, and then she cut her crease, and then it looks like she put white along it. Um, I'm probably just going to do all of the eyeshadows and then go in with the white eyeliner at the very end, um, so that way the colors don't mix in with the white eyeliner. So I'm going to start by finding a really pretty orange, which I think the James Charles palette has one. Yes, oh, that's like a perfect orange. Okay, so I'm going to start by going in with this orange by James Charles, and I'm going to put that, like, all in my crease. And the the makeup um, page that this look is on is Aesthetic Cosmetics. Um, I, wait, Aesthetic A Cosmetics. I don't know the girl's name. They probably tagged her, but I haven't looked at it. Um... So that's who I'm going to credit this look to. It has literally been so long since I've just sat down and actually like done my makeup like and done like a whole makeup look. So I'm actually pretty excited. Now orange is in my cut crease. I mean 
my cut crease orange is in my crease now i'm gonna blend it out with a little bit of yellow and this isn't really a tutorial by the way um because i kind of don't know what i'm doing but i am just going to be telling you guys what i'm doing um just so you guys know but this isn't technically a tutorial it's more of a challenge okay now it is time for the hard part so now i'm about to cut my crease and then i'm gonna start i guess in the middle all right i'm gonna use this little flat concealer brush and this concealer and she goes up pretty high because the main like point of this look is the the rainbow effect so boom Okay, that's one crease cut. I think I'm just gonna do one eye. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on one eye at a time because you girl don't have that much con concentration. Okay, so first, I know that there's a white on the very center and then it goes to yellow. So white, yellow. Wait, where's the blue on the other side? So it goes Purple, pink, yellow, white, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple. What? Okay, so this girl is not symmetrical. I, I thought she was symmetrical. She ain't symmetrical. So first I'm going to start with the white because I know damn well that's in the center. Um, I think I'm, ju I'm just going to use this packing brush. I'm really going to be using the same damn brush for this whole look. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the white from James Charles. And I'm going to just pack this sucker in the middle. All over the middle. Okay? Now, I'm going to go in with the same brush. We just going to dust her off a little bit. And I'm going to go in with that yellow, the same yellow I used at the top. And I'm going to go right next to it. And I'm going to kind of go at an inward angle. And this one is going to go on both sides. Okay, well, somehow this is turning to an orange. Um... So I'm going to go in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and hopefully there's the yellows in here. Yep. And I think I'm going to try to, is that green or is this yellow? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go in with this yellow I guess even though it looks exactly the same. Oh my god this is not helping. What if I mix the white in? Hold, hold the fun. Oh, what if I go in with the shimmer in the middle? I'm gonna do that at the end. <gasps> ah! This is a disaster already and I just started, man. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the white um, just to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. Bro, maybe I should have went completely in with white and then started blending it. Because on top of the white, this whole is yellow. Okay, we're going to redo that because that was tragic. As you can tell, it's not bright yellow. So we're going to go in and try our best to fix this. So we're basically going to recut our crease. I should probably take it off first, but I don't feel like getting up to get a makeup wipe. So, y'all pray for me. And then I'm going to go in with white all over my eyelid. And then start blending in colors. Because, baby, what I just did. Uh-uh. Alright. Now that is cut. So, now we're going to go in. And I'm going to completely just drown my eye in this white eyeshadow. Um, and hopefully it'll make the colors a little more vibrant. Okay. So now that that is completely coated in white, I'm now going to go in with 
the yellow again and I'm gonna try to make it not turn out to be orange this time. All right, this shit is doing the exact same thing. All right, you know what, whatever. We're moving on, I'm tired of it. I'm over it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with pink on this side and then purple. Okay, so now it's like a purple on the inside and then it goes to like a bright white. I'm running out of little packing brushes, fellas. I don't know. I'm going to use this bottom purple. I said this wasn't a tutorial, and here I am pointing out colors. This one right here, um, and I'm going to get... I'm going to... I don't know. I can't even speak English. Why I was about to hold this as a mirror. Am I good? Are you... Okay, Skylar, is everything all right? Okay, now that is fucking pretty. Can y'all see that? I would have never put this many dang colors on my face. But holy shit, your girl is doing something. I'm really kind of shook and I'm not even done yet. Okay. Now the inner corner stays white. I'm obviously going to like fix it and make it more pigmented later. But that's not for right now. On the other side of the yellow, I think it's like a blue, and then they kind of mix together and make like a greenish color. But it's like a blue, and then it goes to pink, and then it goes to like a darker blue. This is the part I'm a little iffy on. I think I'm going to go in with like a royal blue um, type color, and then I'm going to go in with another, with the same pink again. And then I'm going to go in with like, that looks like like a purpley blue color i don't have one of those i think i'm gonna go in with a green and then i'm gonna go in with pink and then i'm gonna go in with blue for the wing because i don't want a green wing i want a blue wing so we're gonna go in with like a greenish blue type ordeal okay mine looks way more green than hers but she also probably like hella edited her picture so, I'm going to put green because I don't want blue right next to each other. Boom. That's what she looks like. I know that the center looks weird. It's because I haven't put the icy white, so y'all don't come for me. Give me time, all right? Next is going to be the pink again. Um, I think I'm going to kind of mix, like, pink and purple, like, together. So that way... Well, first I'm going to lay down pink, and then I'm going to lay down probably a little bit of purple. So that way it's not, like, as vivid. Or maybe it's going to make purple on its own. I don't even know. Alrighty then. Now I'm going to go in with the blue. And make my wing eyeliner. Oh, this is getting really crucial. I need this fallout to not. Thank you. There's like a whole patch right there that won't freaking stick. Like, I just don't get it, dude. I really don't. Why are you not cooperating? This is not easy. I thought it was going to be easy. This shit is not easy whatsoever. This is the hardest makeup look I've ever done. Not actually, but... It's not, it's just difficult to blend and I'm impatient. So, yeah. Now, I think I'm going to finally go in with that icy white and I'm going to smack that thing right in the middle. Okay, well my battery is dying, so real quick I'm going to put that um, icy white from the Daisy Marquez palette. There's one in the James Charles, I think. Nope, there's not. It's not white. So I'm going to put this icy white in the very center. And I'm going to kind of do it in a V. So that way it's like everything like is drawn in kind of effect. Know what I mean? And I'm going to change my battery camera and I will be right back. Oh, I just put concealer in my hair. Oh, no. Okay, I'll, I'll be back, guys. Hold on.
Okay, so now it looks like she smoked out her bottom lash line. Or didn't smoke it out, but she put like a like a reddish orange type color all underneath and it went all the way up underneath this wing so real quick i'm about to make this a little sharper um and then i'm gonna like kind of mix like a orangey red and an orange and i'm gonna put it all on the bottom lash line now i need to put a white eyeliner in the the, the crease thing and then we're done with one eye other than freaking lashes i'm honestly not too impressed with myself because these freaking eyeshadows wouldn't blend but let me go get a white eyeliner and i will be right back okay so i have these this nyx white eyeliner boom okay so i have an idea this is the milk pencil by nyx cosmetics and maybe this will be better to use as a white. So maybe I can use this in the center. Oh my god, it's actually white. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to use this. Dude, that shows up way better. Okay, guys. So that is pretty much it for that eye. Since that was my first time ever doing it, I feel like my next eye is about to be so much freaking better. But I'm going to go do the other eye. <clears throat> I'm going to go do the other eye off camera, put on lashes and some lipstick, and we'll be right back, baby. Okay, you guys. Well, that is it for the look. This was honestly a very, not a very hard challenge, but like, it has been so long since I've actually sat down and done my makeup. So then me like just sitting down and then trying to create this look was kind of a lot. Um, no, I'm not in love with it. Yes, there's things I can fix. And no, I would not wear this out because if I was not filming, girl, I would have taken this thing off already. But the only thing I don't really like is um my... Eyeshadow's kind of patchy in some areas because, not gonna lie, I kind of forgot to put on eye cream before this, so it's looking hella dry. Um, and I don't like the white eyeliner because this eyeliner cracks, so where it's placed, it, like, it gets moved a lot, which anywhere on your eyelid really is, but, and that's not the point. So, this eyeliner cracks really bad, um, and I don't like that, and then on this eye... When I, it was good until I tried to put that milk, um, the jumbo eye pencil by NYX. It was fine until I put that on there because then it kind of mixed and then since it's a cream it darkened the inside of the yellow a little bit. And it kind of made it um, like a darker orange typey color. Um, but this is what she looks like. She's not terrible but she's not like... You know the best ever so oh i forgot lipstick you know what i don't even want to put on lipstick y'all pretend like i got lipstick on okay because i'm tired i've been sitting down in this chair for like three hours because i had to, uh, <laughs> this makeup look it took so freaking long now i have a mess to clean up but anyways it was actually kind of fun um filming so it definitely tested my skills and I challenge you guys if you are a makeup artist or if you do makeup to try this. It's actually kind of fun. Um, I definitely plan on doing a part two. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like because um, I definitely do plan on doing a part two. There's, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but there's two different kinds that I really, really am thinking about doing. Um... So yeah, and it basically just tests your makeup skills, but your girl definitely needs to get a white concealer or um, a white foundation so I can mix in colors um, to create my own like paste type thing. And maybe I could do that for the eyeliner next time or maybe if I can find like a freaking white lipstick. I really don't know. But yeah. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again i challenge you guys to do this video it is so much fun um but yeah if you have not already follow me on instagram everything is down below because soon i will be doing a poll and i want you guys to pick i want you guys to pick my makeup looks next time so you guys could send me like drag makeup stuff because your girl's never glued down her eyebrows so that could be interesting 
Um, and y'all could send me like regular makeup videos if you guys just want me to do a look that you've been wanting to see or anything like that, then just send it to me um, whenever I do my poll. So make sure you guys follow me down below. Subscribe, like this video if you would like to see more. And I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.